Jen with the Travel Women, and today I'm here with Sarah. Hi. And we're in Times Square covering the 11 secrets of New Year's Eve, the ball drop here in New York City. Yes. So keep watching for some hilarious popper bloopers because we're gonna like let this out. We're gonna pretend it's New Year's, even though it's only a couple days before. Hey. It's nice to me. That's all that matters. <laughs> yes, and also check out my other video all about Times Square fun facts and subscribe to both of us for more New York City videos. Okay. Yes. Should we, like, this one actually broke. Should we just yeah, do something sure. about that? Let's just say, so, like, let's start, let's start <laughs> our New, Year, New Year's Eve <laughs> secrets now. With, like, something in the Okay. Ready? 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 Go. Let's start the New Year's Eve secrets now. New Year's Eve was originally celebrated downtown at Trinity Church with the bells ringing. There were about 15,000 people some years and they would legally drink out in public and crank noisemakers. The first 87 years, the ball was actually lowered by a rope, but today it's lowered by a super precise laser-cooled automatic clock in Boulder, Colorado. Surprising, right? So you're probably wondering, why do we have a ball drop for New Year's Eve? This celebration actually dates back to as far back as 1833 when it was on top of the England's Royal Observatory and they had a ball drop so that captains would actually be able to see this and set their chronometers or clocks. New York Times moved up here to Long Acre Square in 1896. They renamed it Times Square after the paper in 1904 and wanted to have a New Year's celebration here. And in 1907, since fireworks were banned, they decided why don't we do a ball drop? And it's been dropping ever since. They installed a 700 pound wood and iron sphere that had 25 watt light bulbs. The ball weighs six tons, is 12 feet in diameter, and has over 30,000 LED lights on it. The ball has been lowered since 1907, except for the years 1942 and 1943 because of the war. They did still celebrate, but with a minute of silence, here as well as ringing of the times. And that is actually where we get the saying, ring out the old year and ring in the new. The mostly empty building that holds the ball today, it's covered in billboards, actually has a secret vault underneath that holds celebration souvenirs like the 2000 Millennial Ball. The ball is actually on display year round here in Times Square. So you don't have to come on New Year's Eve. You can actually come any other day, January through December. Did you know that other places drop more than crystal balls? For example, Port Clinton drops a 20 foot long fish and Boise, Idaho drops a potato. <laughs> Sounds so crazy. I gotta see that. <laughs> the confetti that's released on New Year's Eve holds written wishes from people that you can submit online, on social media, or right here in Times Square. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and Happy New Year! Oh my god, can I do it? Really fun, actually. <laughs> okay, I love that. Before they yell at us, sorry. Let's, let's leave. <laughs> One more, just for safety. Okay. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it. Okay. And three, two, one. <laughs>